and we should be live now. <clears throat> good evening, everyone. Let me know if the audio and everything's all good if you're in here. Yeah, another stream. It's my um, first one since since round um, since round two. It would be my first one since um, Adelaide, Geelong. Back in round two, haven't been able to do it the past couple of weeks. Yeah. Hello, hello, Saurus. Welcome, welcome again to the stream. Good to see you in here. Yeah, I'm glad you're um in here. <laughs> so you're um yeah, obviously you commented the other day asking, asking if I was going to stream at all this weekend. So yeah, no, good to see you. Let me know if the audio and everything's all good. Unbranded, hello, hello again, unbranded. Good to see you back in here again for another stream. But yeah, welcome. Let me know. Um, uh, let me know your thoughts on tonight. Any predictions? I mean, I'm thinking the Bulldogs probably get the job done, but you never know. Sora says everything's all good so far. That's good to hear. Well, let's hope. Let's hope it stays that way. I just gotta get KO up. Here we go. So the game starts in uh, 15 minutes. So yeah. So yeah, just put in chat if you you know your predictions or anything you know. Who you think's gonna win by how much? Best on predictions maybe. I don't know. Bulldogs by 27. Yeah. That's sort of about what you'd probably think would be about par. You know, definitely I don't think you can write off Essendon. I think they've got probably a bit of a better chance than some people might think because, you know, they did get flogged last week, but still, you know, I could see them turning up, particularly at Marvel. Definitely, definitely could see them turning up for it. But yeah, but you know, I've obviously still tipped the Bulldogs as well. Yeah, thoughts on um, thoughts on last night's game. Bit of an interesting one that one. The um, I tell you what about last night, Melbourne Brisbane. I um, I tipped, I tipped Melbourne by three points, even though I got the feeling Brisbane would win. Because what's been happening the past few weeks, I've sort of done that. Like, I've tipped who I got the feeling would win games, and it sort of, you know, hasn't gone too well, because I'm doing pretty poorly in the tipping. Admittedly, I've been tipping Hawthorne every week, so that hasn't helped me, but, you know, even still, still not amazing. I'd be, you know, probably lower middle if I... Um, or near the middle if I didn't tip Hawthorne every week, but... Yeah, no, pretty terrible tipping at the moment. So I thought, yeah, last night, get back to basics, just tip the favourites a bit more. And then, yeah, lo and behold, Brisbane win. So, mm. Last night's game is not the best. No, definitely wasn't the most entertaining game of football, but, you know, I guess it was an upset. An upset that quite a lot of people might not have seen coming. So, you know. Could have been worse. I guess if Melbourne won easily, that would have been, I guess, more boring probably. But yeah, Brisbane looked to be back, maybe. Back in some better form. To be Hawthorne on last week was almost a genius prediction. Oh, yeah, Soros. Yeah, yeah. But nearly, nearly. But your boys got over the line. Well done. But yeah, no, that would have been that would have been some sort of thing if we won that six goals down at half time. I would have been, you know, I would have absolutely lost it if we if we somehow pulled that off. But yeah, no, it's funny because yeah, I would have looked like a genius if if we got up there. But no, we fell short, unfortunately. And I don't think we'll win tomorrow against the Gold Coast. So. Yeah, I'm actually quite interested for tonight's game because, you know, it's really... I mean, it's not... It's definitely not clear-cut 
by any means, you know. I guess it's a bit like last night, the sort of game where they're sort of a relatively clear favourite, but, you know, you don't know. Saurus, I think you'll win tomorrow. Oh, I, I mean, I don't know. On the Gold Coast, it's not the sort of game we um we would win. We got we lost by eleven goals in that game way to Gold Coast last year. So we'll see. I mean, I hope you're right, but you know, I'm not I'm not very confident at the moment. I mean, I could definitely see it. You know, coming off a. An almost win last week to then, you know, then look terrible again. Like having looked a lot better last week to then, you know, get flogged. Could definitely say it. I'm starting to feel even more so. Like right now, I sort of feel like I could definitely see the Dons winning. Like it really feels like, you know, I could definitely see it. I mean, I don't know, but just get that feeling, you know. The Dons, yeah. The Dons lose today. It's suddenly, you know, what looked like an all right start of the season will suddenly look not too good at all, like, you know, beat us not very convincingly at all, arguably just because we were so inaccurate, then beat St Kilda in a thriller, which, I mean, fair play to them, you know, that could have gone either way, and then they lose tonight, suddenly, you know, suddenly two and three with a shocking percentage, no matter what the margin is tonight, so yeah. Big, big game for them. And yeah, we'll see. Do you reckon Collingwood will beat Port next week, Soros? I mean, obviously Collingwood got the bye. The bye this week, but... Yeah. An interesting game, that one, all of a sudden. You know, it's the sort of game at the start of the year, I mean, you give Port a chance, but you, you know, probably tip Collingwood, but all of a sudden, you know, big, big, big game. Sort of a pretty important game for both teams. That was shocking last Friday night, Essendon. Yeah, I know. They were abysmal. I mean, it's funny because they were, you know, they were right in the game for quite a while last week. They were, you know... What was it? Let me have a look. Yeah, so it was like midway through the second quarter, they're down by like a goal. Yeah, and they were on four goals four and ended on six goals six. So from, you know, like midway through the second quarter or even early early in the second quarter onwards. Yeah, early in the second quarter onwards, they kicked just two goals two. Pretty, pretty ugly. Yeah, going down to Melbourne next Friday and going to the game. Oh, good stuff, Soros. Good stuff. Second game for the year for you, obviously. Because you would have gone, um, yeah, last week, which I was there too. I guess for you it was more, um, you know, a unique chance to see a win. So, you know, I'm glad for you that, that Colin would got the job done. Not so happy for myself. Oh, he says, woohoo, he's back. That's right, I'm back. Very excited for the commentating this round. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll do my best. I'll commentate when it's interesting, but it's sort of, you know. <laughs> yeah. Someone on social media criticised my commentating the other way. But, you know. There's always going to be haters. Just got just to... Gotta, just got to move on from them. Focus on the people who are... Focus on the supporters. Seven minutes until the game. 
exciting stuff. Oh dear. Sort of feels like there haven't been many Marvel games at all this year. I don't know why, it just sort of feels like there just haven't been many at all. I mean, I can easily check how many there've been. And obviously there've been a few. But yeah, only four games at Marvel so far this year. It's not many, is it? Definitely not many. I mean, obviously there wouldn't have been any in um, opening round or gather round. But even still, that's just not many games. Yeah, not a single game there in round one. Oh, one in round two, and then three in round three. But yeah, let me. Hmm. Renewable electricity when the conditions are right. We've got who you tip for today? Who's going to win? Um. Well, I've tipped the Bulldogs, but right now. I'm sort of getting a funny feeling Essendon are at least going to, you know, do a lot better than some people are thinking. I don't see why they can't win this. Gather Round was awesome, says Saurus. Yeah, well, sure was. Um, it would have been... <laughs> I mean, I would have thought it was awesome if Hawthorne just kicked one more goal, but, you know. <laughs> Obviously, you know. Wouldn't quite say it was awesome. But yeah, I only went to the one game anyway, so, you know. Would have been awesome if we um, won, but, you know, otherwise for me, it was not that awesome. But yeah, um, so now two years in gather round, two losses by under a goal, because we lost to the Giants last year by a couple of points, so not, not, not ideal. And went both times, so, you know. Not the best drive back, but anyway. It's the weekend after the weekend before. The city of Adelaide takes centre stage for Gather Round. It's a long countdown to next year's Gather Round. <laughs> Sorry, they're just trying to think about Gather Round on the TV right now. Anyway. Um. Not that, not just that game. Went to five of them with some of my mates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know. You, you did say you were going to go to quite a few. I mean, I, I'm saying I only went to the Collingwood Hawthorne one. But yeah, quite some good games. Did you go to like which ones did you go to? Because I mean, obviously, there were. Many close games last week, so yeah. How long till the game starting? T three minutes. Starts in uh starts at seven forty, so three four minutes. Just enjoying this little promo they're showing Fox Footy for all the games this round. Anyway, Adelaide, Melbourne, Port Adelaide, Essendon, Fremantle, Carlton, Western Border, Shalom, Collingwood, Hawthorne. Alright, so that's just... Yeah. So you went to like... So that's all the Adelaide Oval games, isn't it? But none other, no others. Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. That adds up, yeah. Yeah, you said yeah. Yeah, because there were five at the Adelaide Oval, two at Norwood, and two at Mount Barker. So yeah, that all adds up to nine. There we go. <clears throat> It's funny, you see this all the talk about um, what they're going to do when Tassie join the competition in terms of gather rounds. They said some suggestion there'll be like three of them. Everyone will play in two of them, which seems a bit of a some wacky idea that, but yeah. 
Two against one to not against England. Physical presence from Sam Draper in the ruck is what they need. Bucks. Well, his fellow Sam and the bloke at his feet, I think I'm expecting a big night from him. I just love the way this young fellow goes about his business. Country kid. Um, you give him something to work on or you give him an amount of work. So exciting. Game starts bit, in a minute and a half. Toss of the coin. Here we go. Essen with the toss. Merritt elects to kick to the southern end of Marvel Stadium. Towards the Essendon cheer squad. Oh dear. Big game. So Essendon, you'd think, would want to come out strong here. Big game for both sides, really, because, you know, the Bulldogs can't, can't afford, really, to lose this game either. I mean, what, they've had... They're 2-2, two and two, had a couple of big wins, and, you know, no loss last week, and a big loss to Melbourne in round one. So, you know, if they're going to... You know, leap up into the finals again this year. It's the sort of game they need to win. It's sort of the get for both teams, you know. And a very similar game for um, the Bulldogs next week as well, because they play St Kilda on Thursday night next week. So a couple of big games for the Bulldogs. I mean, ideally for them, they'd win both of them. They definitely have to win at least one. Yeah, definitely can't afford to lose both because then all of a sudden, you know, they're a long way off the pace. So game about to start here at Marvel Stadium. Not here, but there at Marvel Stadium. Big, big game of footy. Bulldogs versus Essendon. They're underway. English up against Goldstein in the ruck. Sort of a nil all draw. But Essendon come charging away with it. Merritt out wide to McGrath. McGrath kicks it forward down the line. Ball punch. It's going to be a free kick going the way of Jones. Richards got the arm over the shoulder. So Jones of Essendon. Chips it short to McGrath. Wouldn't mind Essendon winning this actually, says Soros. I mean, I sort of would. I'd probably rather the Bulldogs to win, personally. I guess that would be interesting. But anyway, in the meantime, there's a free kick inside 50 for Essendon. The perfect start for them. This is what they needed. Todd Goldstein. This would be the perfect start for Essendon. They need just this. In comes Big Goldie. To give the Dons the first of the game. He's put it to the left. It's coming back. It's a goal. That's what they needed, Essendon. That's what they needed. As Speedy Sports joins, welcome, Speedy. Welcome to the live stream. Good to see you in here again. But yeah, no, there we go. First goal of the game going the way of Essendon. Just the start they needed. Something to work on there. I mean, big for Essendon if they, um, you know, could come out and, you know, win this game. Speedy, let me know your um prediction for this game. I mean, obviously most people are tipping the Bulldogs. I haven't seen anyone tip Essendon, but, you know, we'll see. Definitely think they are some chance of winning this game. To just ruin my footy tipping even more than it's already ruined. It's just it's just all the 50-50s I've got wrong is the main issue. Anyway, Merritt feeding it forward. Terrible handball though. Dre comes charging forward with it and the Bulldogs might be able to mount an attack here. Kicks the ball short. McRae. McRae wheels and goes. Into the 50. Norton takes a strong grab. Aaron Norton marks inside 50 with a chance to get the reply back for the Bulldogs. Like 
Well done from Aaron Norton. It's a nice mark. I wish we had more blokes at Hawthorne who could, you know, do that sort of thing. So, so such a nice thing to see. And Norton comes in and kicks a goal. That's what they will need it, I guess, obviously. The, the reply from the Bulldogs. One goal apiece. Scores level early on a Friday night. In a big game of footy. And nothing too... <laughs> nothing too surprising so far, but... Yeah. Intriguing. Hopefully high scores this source will. Yeah, two goals, two minutes so far. Yeah. That'd be good for football. Definitely. Well, Merritt did well. The handball off to Parrish. The ball wobbles inside 50. Richards kicks the pass. But on Norton. Norton goes down the line. Badger throw in. Benji throwing now the Bulldogs win it they charge forward Trelaw has kicked it way out on the fall not a great kick there and Essendon have the footy Goodish kick down the line. Hebel couldn't quite hold on to it. He's won a free kick though. He'll go down the line. Well, bouncing Jones collects it. Good handball off. Richards, who's been busy early. It's a short backwards. <laughs> Get a look at Luke Beveridge's pearly whites there. Just look unbelievable. <laughs> Anyway, and here go the doggies on the run. Long ball deep into the 50. Waitman couldn't quite spill it out the back. Hugo Hagen hunting it. Waitman goes in under it and it gets slumped away. And eventually, it's a minor score to the Western Bulldogs. Who do I want to win? Uh, well, you know, probably. I mean, obviously. Well, you know, I, well, I prefer I prefer the Bulldogs to Essendon. You know, I don't have, I mean, I don't really like the Bulldogs particularly much, but you know, got less against them than Essendon, I guess. You know, just generally speaking. So I guess I'd rather the Bulldogs win, even though you know, that's the predictable result. I mean, but I'm all for an upset turning. I'm all for an underdog, you know, turning up. So I definitely want Essendon to make a game of it, but, you know. Ulti yeah, ultimately all I want is a good game of football. Free kick Essendon on the wing. Do you want Essendon to win, Soros? I mean, you sort of half said that before, but... Who do you want to win? Essendon go inside the 50... Hobbs wrapped up, ball up. Somebody balls it up inside Essendon's forward 50. Gresham and Merritt hunting it. Merritt, good hands, couldn't quite get it off to Langford and the Bulldogs have the numbers. They kick a ball out there and Norton takes the mark. Well cleared by the doggies. Handball off from Norton to Sanders, who kicks it down the line. Ball hits deck, and Essendon have the numbers. Redmond 
Now Essendon can do a switch here. Will you be streaming again this round? Um, not tomorrow, because I'll be watching the Hawthorne game rather than streaming in any way, but potentially Sunday. But th that's a very potentially, I don't know, maybe Sunday, depending on um, some other factors of what I'm doing. So, yeah, maybe Sunday. That's definitely no guarantees. That's just really like a, a maybe. Only if it like, you know, works. In the meantime, Essendon inside the 50. Stringer couldn't quite. He's hunting it and he's wrapped up and that'll be a ball up. Yeah, cheers for asking, Saurus, because I know, you know, you have not missed a single moment of these streams, pretty much. So, yeah, good stuff. Draper grabs it out of the ruck and he gets caught holding the ball. And the ball dogs run away with it. Bramble to Sanders. Sanders runs down the line. Hugo Hagen did well to get it to ground, then wins the footy. Kicks it down the middle. It's a very risky kick. Davey and Trelaunch. Davey got there first. Handled it off, but straight to English, and the Bulldogs now have the numbers. Trelaw gives it off to Bontempelli. Bontempelli inside the 50, and Hugo Hagen's gone back there and taken a mark. And Hugo Hagen will have a shot to get for goal to put the doggies one up. <laughs> um... Got to keep on the stream schedule. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> so, here we go. Jamari Hugo Hagen. And he put it straight through the middle. And the doggies get their second. Yeah, Essendon sort of looked like they came out firing a bit. I mean, had the goal before and had some other opportunities, but, you know. So far now, two goals to one. Nothing really suggesting that the Bombers will do more than what's expected of them. Intriguing game of football, this one. Anyway, back in the middle. And Essendon winning out of the middle, going straight inside 50. And look who's all on his own there. It's Jakey Stringer. Comes out and takes a mark. This would be a brilliant quick reply from the Bombers. Just to keep them back on par. Big moment. They've got to take their chances early in this game, Essendon. If they are to win this game, they've got to stay in it. <laughs> Goes without saying, probably. As Stringer comes in, oh no. Oh no, Jakey. Jake Stringer has just chipped it out on the full, effectively. A shocking kick. Anyway, Jones clears it. Oh, that's a great mark. Bulldogs all keep going forward. All down the line. Free kick to go in the way of the Bulldogs. Sanders runs away with it. It's a clever kick in the Hugo Hagen direction. He just feeds it forward. But they sort of wrapped it up. It wasn't a great handball. And the Bombers now have the numbers. They get it back. And now the Bombers go charging through the middle. Here's a go. Stringer kicks it inside the 50. Ball on deck. Davey corralling it. But it <laughs> fell behind him. Jones gets the handball away. And they clear at the Bulldogs now. An opportunity gone begging there for both sides. One after another. 
definitely either could have made him pay. Gee, that's a shocking kick. Is that Baker who kicked that? Hmm. Speedy Sports says, can you check my round five tips? Certainly. I'll, um... I might check that at quarter time, Speedy. I'll check your, your tips. And I'll make comment on them if you want at quarter time. I'll go through that. I mean, maybe remind me if you're like, still here. I'll try not to forget, but I will check that at quarter time. Anyway, McGrath. McGrath chips it into the 50. Langford gives it away, and it's a free kick. He's going to win a free kick for holding the man. Carl Langford. Need to be aware of that when playing on him. Be a kick now for Essendon. Hopefully he can do a lot better than Jake Stringer did just moments ago. Here comes Langford. Winds himself up. It's a pretty good looking kick off the boot. That's how you kick a footy. It's a goal to Essendon. Carl Langford gives him their second. And the Bombers hit back. I'm not trying to ask too much, but maybe some. <laughs> okay, Speedy, sure. I mean, it doesn't cost me anything, so I'll certainly sub if you want me to. But I can definitely subscribe and watch your video. So back in the middle now, Gold setting up against English. Ball one down, sliding kick going forward there for the Bulldogs. Ball now out on the wing. Bulldogs have the numbers. Richards kicks it long. Towards the 50 metre line. Hugo Hagen flies out of ball. Hit down. And Waitman, they've kept it in, but Waitman drops the footy. McGrath picks it up and gives it to Heppel. And the Bombers can probably clear it now. Ball kicked down now. Out of defence for Essendon. Parrish couldn't mark it. Ball hits the deck. And he's wrapped up, and it will be a ball up. Here go the doggies into the 50. Um, Sora says, what made you want to start YouTube? In the meantime, it's a goal to the dogs. There we go. Sorry, I wasn't calling it very much there, but it's a goal to the dogs. There's their third. But what made you want to start YouTube? Um, for me, it was... Was it me? Uh, yeah, you're talking to me or... Speedy. But if you're talking to me, I mean, what made me want to start YouTube was just, I guess... For me, it was just, um, you know... Yeah, it was just something to do, I guess. I guess the same as Speedy says I was bored. But yeah, no, that's definitely part of it. You know, it was just something, you know, obviously I've watched YouTube a lot. I watched footy a lot and I just thought, oh yeah, I'll just, you know, nothing in it much. I just thought, you know, I'll just start, start, uh, you know, making videos. It took, you know, many, many years for me to gain any sort of subscribers because, you know, been going at it for a very long time. It's been seven and a half, over seven and a half years since I started the channel. So it's been a long time. Bulldogs have the numbers here. Bramble now charging through the middle, gives it off. Dogs now ready to enter into attack. Norton, Norton gives it over the top. Jure. 
Hunting it, he's pushing the back, surely. Umpire calls the ball up. Looks like he was pushed right in the back there from Dersma. Cummins takes a mark. Kick short. Dangerous kick to DeRay. Still got the numbers though. Williams kicks it long and deep inside the 50. Almost worked out over the back there for the Bulldogs. Keep it in. Kicks it towards the centre. But a good intercept mark there by Zach Merritt. I remember the first video I watched of you AFL Tube was the 2020 AFL Grand Final prediction. Jeez. It's good. Well, it's good memory. You remember that? That was, um... Yeah. I was quite proud of my prediction in that because I predicted Geelong to be in front at half-time and Richmond to come back and, you know, they won by a similar margin to what I tipped them to win by. So, yeah. I remember that one. <laughs> but, yeah, good memory. That was shortly after I started making What Ifs and I had, like, the the edit at the end of it to show like the game itself you know like so yeah yeah good memory yeah, a ball inside 50 for Essendon 7 minutes to go in the first quarter English up against Goldstein I'll see wins a tap, but it's going to be a ball up again. I'll see wins a tap, but it's going to be a high tackle free kick. On the way to the Bombers, which makes the free kick count 6-1 to one in their favour. Interesting stuff. It's Jai Colwell. Jai Colwell lining it up. He has struck it very well. And he's kicked the Bombers third. They hit back again. Back within a point again. Speed is just put in chat. Have you ever thought making? Have you ever thought about making your logo an AFL ball in a tube? Um. I mean, I don't think I've ever seriously thought that about that. <laughs> I mean, I have. Um. I've thought of a tube as like a concept, but yeah. I promise you the name of the channel is purely because it's YouTube, not because it's um, not an actual tube. But maybe I should embrace the tube though, you know. Like, make a like, you know, tube. But anyway, not a bad idea. Anyway, the Bulldogs deep in 50 now. Maybe a quick reply, badly throwing. So six minutes to go in the first quarter. Intriguing game of football. Bit back and forth so far. The umpire throws it back into play. He's hunting it. That could be a free kick. And it will be. And the Bulldogs will... Surely kick a pretty easy goal. It's funny, I said it was six free kicks to one before, but very, um, it's become uh, six to three now all of a sudden. Speedy says, who you tip? Tonight, I tipped the Bulldogs by 17 points. Race comes in, oh no, that's a poor kick. 
didn't really hit the wrong side of it, just wasn't a good kick at all. No, no, no. Oh dear. Bulldogs lead it by two points. Good contest. Five minutes to go in the first quarter. Shalor did well. Ambled it off to Liberatore, who's wrapped up immediately and will be a ball up. Sanders wrapped up and it'll be a ball up again. My device died, says Saurus. <laughs> That's no good. <sighs> I'm glad you're back now. Have you, have you charged it a bit or is that now a different device? Yeah, you haven't missed much, I don't think, from when you've last would have been in here. Don't worry. So Bontempelli chips it short. Baker into the 50. Oh, he's kicked it well out on the fall. Pretty poor kick, that one. Turns it straight over. That's a lot of it is celebrating on the BMS night at all. Of course, as I mentioned, West is the only AFL VFL or well AFL. Yeah, yeah. modern new AFL era, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just seven, but those other guys, extraordinary Lee Matthews. So Langford now going down the line to the wing. Mm -hmm. Big pack forming, ball hits the deck. Hobbs. Baker hunting it, Hobbs finds it, but the handball's a poor one, straight to Jones as he was tackled. Gives it off to Bontempelli. Bontempelli hands it corridor, but Merritt wins it. Swings a kick forward. It was a half ball for the Bombers. It's pretty open there. Jones taps it over the top. It's a foot race between Jones and Jones. <laughs> and it's... In the meantime, McDonald's wrapped up. It's holding the ball. And Langford, will he have a shot for goal? No, he kicks it quickly. It's a dangerous one, but the mark's taken. Jeez, that was a... An interesting moment there. Now Nick Martin with the footy. Different sister's phone. <laughs> How did your sister feel, Soros, about you just stealing her phone? As Martin lines it up. And kicks a goal and puts Essendon in front. Billy says, how are things AFL Tube? Not bad, Billy. How are things for you? Good to see you here in the stream. She's in home. I'm all good. Oh, okay. I was thinking you just, like, snatched it off her or something. But, yeah. But he says, I hope umpires weren't so mad if I touch someone's shoulder for zero point one for point one seconds. <laughs> yeah. And that's how umpires are. <laughs> anyway, Essendon now finding a bit of momentum. They feed it through with the handball game here. Well done. Kick it out wide. It's going the backwards kick. And it kicks it long. Bombers hunting it. Heppel runs away with it, but he's tackled and they clear it. Look at that. 
Darcy kicks it long. Gee, that's a clever kick. Now English to Joe Hannison. Kicks it high to the goal square. Oh, great mark. Great mark by Hugo Hagen in the goal square. I mean, Darcy did very well. And... I mean, to be fair, it wasn't that good a mark. He marked it on his chest, but well done. Sort of what was a two-on-one situation, sort of. And Hugo Hagen pops it through, and the Dogs regain the lead. Minute and a half to go in the first quarter. An important one for the Bulldogs to respond to two in a row from Essendon. But a very back and forth game so far. Now 4-2-26 to 4 straight, 24. Bro, my mum, like, you can have a shower, but I said no thanks. I was watching my fave YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, good stuff, Speedy. I mean, I would, I, would, I would recommend you sharing eventually, but you better stay tuned in at least until quarter time, because I'm going to go through your tips video. So, you know. So I appreciate you saying... I'm your favourite YouTuber as well. <laughs> but AFL Tube does support people having showers at least once in a while. In the meantime, here come the Bulldogs. Bramble gives it off to McRae and McRae kicks it into the 50. Norton, he's going to give away a free kick to Ben McKay for a push. Kicks it short quickly to Redmond, to Heppel. <clears throat> Here you go, the Dons. Rundowns have kicked it. So, here you go, the Bombers. Into the 50. English got two hands on it, couldn't take the mark. They give it out to Stringer. Stringer in the pocket, squeezes it out, or squeezes it, squeezes it in. Very clever kick to Davey. And Davey should be able to kick the goal from here. I did this morning. Oh, well, fair enough then, Speedy. I did this morning as well. You've done it as recently as me. Now, Davey wins a 50-metre penalty and he'll kick the goal. And Davey puts Essendon back in front on the brink of quarter time. And the Bombers are back in front with 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Don't know why he got that 50 there, but he did. Might update this to quarter time now. Just this thing. No, I might be doing it a bit early, but... Just saves me going back, assuming nothing else happens from here. So 15 seconds left in the first quarter. Essendon lead it by four points. When what's been a very intriguing start to this game. Essendon have certainly at least come out to play. Ball in the middle. Bontepelli can't win it. Five seconds and the Bombers into attack again. Parrish. Langford couldn't quite mark it. We'll have time to have a shot and goal. Or he just centres it and there's no time. And the siren sounds. Quarter time on Friday night footy. It is the Western Bulldogs 4-2-26. Trailing Essendon. 5 straight 30. Anyway, now Speedy, it's time for me to... Check your footy tips, as promised. <clears throat> Alright, let's have a look. Speedy Sports. Here you are. Chuck to you a sub as well, Speedy. There you go. 71 subscribers, 71 videos. That's symmetrical stuff. 
So one one per video. I remember that was a thing when I was um my early days of the channel. I remember I thought, you know, got to have more, like at least average a subscriber video. So Melbourne by two points. It's very similar to mine. I tip Melbourne by three points. Obviously an incorrect one though. <laughs> Fortunately. Unfortunately for the tipping. Probably arguably good for football. Yeah, now you tip the Bulldogs by four goals. Yeah, that's about what I did. GWS to beat St Kilda by eight points. Yeah, about what I say. Very interesting game though. St Kilda with far more scoring shots. Says so. The Giants get the job done. Carlton beat Adelaide. Yep. And there you go. Gold Coast beating Hawthorne. That's the first one that's different to me. Just because I just tip back to my boys in. I don't actually think we'll win, but you know, whatever. Port to beat Freo by seven points. Similar. To I said ten points for that. Geelong to flog North, yeah. That's what I did as well. And Richmond to flog West Coast. Which is funny. Well, I do give West Coast a chance, but, you know, obviously, I tip Richmond as well. As I'm sure everyone, almost everyone would have done. But yeah, good stuff, Speedy. Good video. Chuck you the sub as well. Up to 72 now. There you go, good stuff, good stuff. Hope the Bulldogs win, says Footy Kid. Who do you go for, Footy Kid? Do you um go for the Bulldogs or do you who do you go for? Or do you just you know hope they'll win? Because I mean, I probably hope they'll win too, but you know, do want a good game of football as well. But yeah, now nah, welcome back to the stream as well. Ultimate trick shot art. Hi, welcome back to the stream. Welcome, welcome for. Uh, Another week of streaming. Seeing a lot of um, familiar faces in tonight of people who've um, tuned in to previous ones. I go for Carl and I just, I only just wasn't, wanted Bulldogs to win because I hate Essendon. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess that's the same as me. So we're in the same boat there, probably. Might chuck a, um, an Instagram story up just to... Um, to encourage people to join. And Holly's donated three dollars. Thank you very, very much. First donation of the night. Congratulations, Holly. Well done. Um, yeah, no, thank you for the three dollars. I really appreciate that. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to say I'll do this for money, but the donation certainly helps. Thank you for that. That's huge. That's now three streams in a row I've received at least um, one donation. Holly, I know you donated last stream as well. So yeah, thank you for that. W from Holly, spot on source. W. I know you watched it, but can't you comment? Well, you want wait. You want me to comment, Speedy? What do you want me to comment? I'll comment. Wait, I'll just comment. Hang on, here we go. I'll say just all the same as me except for Gold Coast Hawthorne. Which, I mean, I do think, you know, I think Gold Coast will win that anyway, but, you know, I did tip Hawthorne. Good stuff. How is the game going? I've not watched any, says Ultimate Trick Shot Art. It's been an interesting game. It sort of looked like for a bit there the Bulldogs were sort of getting on top. They led two goals to one and three goals to two, but you know, it's been sort of an arm wrestle so far. A bit back and forth. But yeah, Bonner's slightly in front right now. Are you watching on the footy on 7 or 504? Well, I'm on, I'm on, well, I'm on KO, which is, you know, not ideal because it's a bit delayed. But, yeah, I'm watching on KO, which is effectively, you know, it shows 
Fox Footy 504. So I'm watching 504 on KO effectively. Yeah. You equals goat, says Speedy. Cheers, Speedy. I appreciate that. Appreciate being called a goat. It's my life. One of my life goals. Yeah, no, footy's about to start. So there we go. Start the second quarter. Well, I'm sorry, I'm on my phone right now. I'm just trying to quickly uh, put a um, an Instagram story up for the for the stream. Do you play AFL, and if you do, are you good at it? Oh, I like to think I'm okay, but you know, I'm not going to get drafted or anything. So you know. Certainly well beyond the, the point where that would even be a possibility. I'd have to do something extraordinary. Yeah, I like to think I'm okay at footy. <laughs> but not nothing you know, like not 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 good good. Just fine, I guess. English the issue here, it gets past him. O'Donnell was nice at ground level. All the way back to Jones. Deep in defence at fifty. Sorry, I'm not calling the game right now. I just got to quickly get this story on the road, get it up and going. Someone quickly hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry everyone. Sorry everyone, I'm not I'm not doing much now. But I'll just say now Essendon have the ball in the wing and they kick it forward, but Harmus takes the intercept mark. Mark Lancaster says go bombers. Well welcome back to the stream. Good start from Essendon, definitely yes. So you know not a bad start. Certainly in the game as of now, which is the important thing. It's all about whether they can keep it up though, like like last week. But in the meantime, that's no good for them. This is Mark inside 50 to Darcy, I think that is. And they'll... He'll try and put through a goal to give the doggies back the lead. Who do you play for, if I may ask? Oh, I just play for my school. Ultimate trick shot art. I play for my school. Anyway, and Darcy has missed it. Just keep the back straight to um to Darcy again. Anyway, I have to share. I'll be back in five. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, Speedy. Try not to rush too much though. Make sure you have a good one. Have a good shower. How do you make the what if video? Says um says uh uh ultimate trick shot. Oh no, that was um sorry. That was Toasty Pro who said that. How do I make the what if videos? I did make um I made a a video for um I made a video for um how to make them. Vandermeer kicks a goal and the dogs are back in front. Yeah, I did make a video on how to make what ifs. Um 
I mean, it's a, I made it quite a while ago now. I've actually made two videos. So, if you look up, um... I mean, it's sort of like, it's sort of like you do have to play around with it, though, because obviously I've, you know, gotten better at it over time, just sort of from, you know, trial and error sort of thing, trying a few different things. But look up, I made it over five years ago now, I made a video called How to Add a Scoreboard, an AFL Scoreboard to a Video. So if you look up how to add an AFL scoreboard to a video, that should come up. And then wait, let me see what the other one's called. That's sort of the first one. And then there was another like one I made also. Um, well, can't, how come we can't see the game? Says Oliver Trick Shot Art and Holly says, I'm assuming copyright issues. That's right. If I showed the game, this stream would be taken down. So, sorry. It's the best I can do. If you can... I apologise for anyone who, you know, doesn't have any other means of watching the game, but, yeah. I wish I could, but, obviously, can't show the game. So, yeah, Gold Bulldog says, Toasty Pro, that's right. Hang on, let me... Sorry. Let me fix that now. I thought I did it. I don't know. I must be... I must have just done their point before, but not actually done the goal. Yeah, sorry. Go to the Bulldogs. Can you make a new tutorial? Well, I mean, I could. I don't know what, you know. I feel like I sort of covered all the, the main points in that. There's not really, like, other specific things. It's just sort of like you've got to, you know play around with it from there and sort of figure it out. But have you seen those videos? I mean, obviously I made them, you know, a while ago now, but I still make them the same way, the exact same ways that I did then. So nothing's like changed in that sense. Your best what if said the 2011 and 2018 ones, the grand finals. Oh, <laughs> oh it took me a second to tweet. I shouldn't be saying that because of, um, yeah, Collingwood, obviously, yeah. <laughs> Tasty Pro says K, yeah. Wait, have you seen those videos? I mean, have you watched them? Because, I mean, I, I'm, I'd have to, um... I'd have to watch over them, because I haven't, obviously, watched them for, um, a long time. Mr. Sportsman also made a tutorial. It's got more views than mine. Unbelievable stuff. Stolen my idea and then made a video on it. <laughs> no, that's all right. I don't care. Fair enough to him. He's, a, um, he's got more subscribers than me, so I can't talk. But nah, I'm not going to talk badly about him. I, I mean, I like Mr. Sportsman. He's a good bloke. He used to comment on my videos back in the day. Anyway, in the meantime, sorry, I keep I keep getting distracted. I keep not updating the scoreboard. I apologise, everyone, for coming across as incompetent. In the meantime, Langford marked inside fifty. I don't know what happened there. The Bulldogs fans and players reckon him he played on, but now he's you know gone back. But what's what's the problem there? Because he looked like he um he's he's you know he's he's taken the he's taken the mark and then played on. I've already changed the scoreboard by the way to um. But anyway, Langford. No, I've got to change it back. He's shanked it. I mean that's obviously. <laughs> Inevitable to happen when I change it before a kick, even if I think it's a pretty easy one, but, you know, I don't really want Essendon to win necessarily, so it's not like I'm, you know, jinxing in that sense. He 
you missed. Yeah, I know. I know he missed now. The 2018 and 2018 grand final. The 2020, the 2011 and 2018 grand final. What is to make me happy? I'm glad saw us. I mean, that's why I do them, just to make people be able to pretend that they live in a fantasy world that they don't. I mean, it's funny. So many people have said to me, like, "What are the points of the what ifs?" It's like there's not a point. I'm not going to pretend there is a point. It's just so completely random. Anyway, it's a goal to the Bulldogs. Soccer off the ground. Sorry, I haven't been calling it. It's a goal to the Dogs. And the dogs to get two in a row, two goals to none now for the quarter. And you know, if you don't take your chances up one end, Essendon, the doggies make them pay up the other. Guess who's back? Back again, Speedy's back. So I should have said that in um um the way Eminem would say it. But anyway, yeah. Welcome back, Speedy. Welcome back to the live stream. How was your shower, Speedy? I hope you enjoyed it. Back in the middle. Cray into the 50. It's a poor kick, cut off by Redmond. When I was 10, remember kicking the footy in the backyard, playing out the 2018 grand final differently. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Soros. That's funny. What, what you were 10? What you would have that been, Soros, when you were 10? What were you 10 in 2011, or was that was that later? That was 2011, you, I mean, quite a few years older than me then. Anyway, Essendon in the middle, Heppel. Heppel kicks it out wide, good kick. And Essendon got to respond now. They can't let this one get away from him here. Stringer couldn't quite. Stringer wanting deliberate. It's, 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 Later, okay. Okay, we'll just leave it there, fair enough. Cox. Turns a good body there from West. Sanders. Gallagher. Back to Sanders. Oh, I just realised it says um, quarter time still. It's funny, I changed that before it um, even... Uh, it's funny, I'm really not on the ball today with that. I've done that a couple of times now. I'd usually pride myself in that sort of efficiency, so... Yeah. Anyway. 2017 and 18. Well, that's the exact same time I was 10, so... There you go. 2017 and 18. That was when I was 10. And I gather, Soros, after um, 2018, I'm guessing you must have um, started doing the 2018 grand final instead. Anyway, here you go. The dogs into the 50. Baker gets the handball away. A lot of numbers there. Spills to Bontepelli. Kicks smothered quickly. Ball still there in dispute as Heppel shovels a handball backwards. Rushing it behind. 6-1-31. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Toasty, thank you for alerting me to that. That is a shocking mistake. I very much apologise. I'm sorry. I've, I said that before, and I'll say it again. I've, I don't know what's happened to me today. I've made so many scoreboard mistakes. But, yeah, no, sometimes... Because it's funny, because that's something that really annoys me when I see, like, people who put up, you know... Scores that are wrong, you know, like they put up like a score that doesn't add up, and it's just so like, you know, how do they not, you know? So yeah, I'm pretty embarrassed with myself about that one. But yeah, um, yeah, because that was after I, you know, changed the Essendon goal and then 
changed it back when he missed it. But yeah. Oh, what what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh dear. I guess I'm not looking over at the screen enough to realise that I'm making these mistakes. You know, I sort of just glance over once in a while at chat and that's all I'm doing. Hungry, what should I eat? says Speedy. Um, I don't know, Speedy. Give me some options of what you could eat because I don't even know what's what's on offer in your household. Dersmart's coming back. Oh, that's a goal. Just snuck in there. That's a great kick. That's a great kick. And the Dons hit back again. Every time one team's gotten a goal in front, the other team's gotten the goal back. No side has been two goals in front. But, um... Switch it up a little. She hits off the side of his boot. Uh, well, I can see you must have loved... You must love the what-ifs then, if that's, um, you know, like that. If you like um, playing those out. How's it going? Should be hashtag keen. Says Rory Woods. Welcome to the stream, Rory. Good to see you back here again. You and, um, I know you and Soros have been in every uh, stream for quite a lot of it. We've had quite a lot of familiar faces back in here again, which is good. Starting to build a bit of a stream community now, but yeah, good to see you all in here. Poll is the best YouTube channel. Pint, Green Ants. Or pin, I don't know where that is, and Devonport Magpies. Guessing that's in, they're in Tasmania then, because I know Devonport's in Tassie. In the meantime, Stringer has kicked the goal. And there you go, two in quick succession for the Dons. And they regain the lead. So the Dogs have been well in control of this second quarter for the most part. Kicked two goals in that time. And now all of a sudden, the Bombers just hit back with two of their own. I'm eating some chips, salt and vinegar. Oh, that sounds lovely. Wish I had some chips. I don't think I have any on me. I, wish, I don't think I have any chips on me. So, yeah, disappointing. Anyway. <laughs> oh, toasty. I reckon you called that a bit early. There's still a long time to go. I mean, I still think they win. How much did you put on them? <laughs> not that I encourage, um, you know, talking about gambling too much because, you know, it's not very uh, socially acceptable of me, but how much did you put on the doggies? Oh, he's dangerous. Another chance for the Bombers, but the string is locked up. It'll be a ball up. Five ninety two, five hundred and ninety two dollars. Five hundred and ninety two dollars on the dogs to win. Jeez. That's a risky one there. Cause um definitely thought this is the sort of game where, you know I mean I could would have maybe backed Essen and they were got to some good odds at some point, but yeah. Not trying to be rude, but I was, says Speedy. What do you mean you were rude? Don't know what that's about, but... Anyway. So the Bombers now... Jay Kelly with an opportunity. He puts it inside the 50... Ball hits the deck. Gresham couldn't quite. Ball hits the ground. Oh, great. Caldwell, I think it was, and he's missed. No, he's missed it. Well, he's missed a lot. There you go. Jeez, 592 is a lot of money, says Soros. It sure is, Soros. It's risky, that's what it is. <laughs> But the winnings wouldn't even be that great on that, given the Bulldogs' odds for this game. How much? How much? You know, how much would the the dogs when you bet when you did that bet? Yeah. Watching your video tips, I didn't like how you said Brisbane will be premiers. Oh. Oh, I didn't. Oh, did you? 
Did you disagree with that? I mean, you're a Carlton supporter, aren't you? So, you know. I mean, yeah. Do you think Carlton will win? Is that who you think will win? I mean, Brisbane, it looked like a pretty terrible prediction. Now it's starting to look more feasible now, but... I don't even have $3. Well, yeah, we... <laughs> yeah. Five ninety two is a well, is that in reference to the five ninety two? Because yeah, yeah, it's a lot of money. But yeah, now big, big, big game for um Toasty Pro financially this one. I disagree with that. Pies back to back. Just trust the process. <laughs> it's not impossible. Not impossible. Definitely. Two and three still, you know, back on track to some extent. But you know, good win against Brisbane. Maybe not such a good win against us. The umpires, the umpires fallen over there. He's picked himself up again. Yeah, probably not a great win for Collingwood against us. But you know, that's what Collingwood do. Kings of the close finish, so, you know. Fair enough. Tosi Pro has just said, uh, music and a star, which I don't know what that's talking about, but... Interesting stuff. Let's go, umpires fall over, says Edie. Don't know about back on track. We were shocking against you lot. Oh, well, you know, I mean, you know, wins are wins, so back in tr back on track in that sense. Maybe would want to be playing a bit better than that, but yeah, wins a win. You were all right in the first half against us, but yeah, no, second half, not so great. Pretty good in the first half, in fact, but yeah. For us, obviously, it was the other way around. Anyway, here they go, the Bulldogs into the 50. Running goalward. And he's missed Norton. It was Norton, I didn't even see. Norton who ran all the way forward, he's missed a shot. Yeah. I make AFL what he fits too. Do ya? Well, let me have a look. I'm always, um, you know, intrigued to see other people's what ifs. And obviously, I take pride in the fact that, you know, I am the uh, the inventor of the what ifs. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm sure you're all very impressed by that fact. But yeah, let me check out your what ifs. I might wait till half time, probably, but. Yeah. Let me just update the score. There we go. It's on TikTok. Oh, is it? What's is your TikTok the same? What's your TikTok called? What's your TikTok called, Toasty? Is it the same? Yeah, <laughs> I looked you up. I think it came up with this thing called Toasty Productions, but uh, I don't think that one's you. So, yeah. Bombers working through the middle. Harris Hamble. Oh, gives it off. Now Bramble. Now charging through the middle. Here's a go for the doggies. Gives it off. Oh, but good work by Caldwell to turn that ball around. Gives the handball off to Gresham, I think that is. Kicks it out wide. Mark taken on the wing and off go the Bombers. Into attack. And the mark taken by Hobbs. Was that Hobbs? Who is that? Yeah, it's Hobbs. Now this to um, crease the lead of the Bombers. Good effort there by um, Caldwell was who um, turned that ball around. I did a what if 2019 grand final, never uploaded it. Oh, you should saw us. I'd be interested to um, to see. Just funny because I did make quite a few of that type of thing before I actually posted one. 
So, oh, there's a good mark by Langford. So, Hobbs's kick went right across the face, and Langford has taken a mark. But yeah, sorry, Speedy, you said that a while ago. Are you sad about, um, um, Uh, yeah, I am sad about the Collingwood game last week. In the meantime, Langford kicks the goal and the Bombers extend their lead. But yeah, to answer your question, I am I am sad. I mean, you know, obviously I'm happy that it was a better performance than some of our previous performances. Probably all of our previous performances, but, you know, particularly we had a lot of players out. But, you know, obviously when it's that close, it's just like, well, so close. So close. And the fact we haven't won yet this season, it's just frustrating. I wanted to see a win, but, you know, it's one of those things. You realise you're second last in tipping. <laughs> oh, no, Speedy. Is that in my tipping or in your own tipping? That's no good. Did you enjoy Adelaide, said Soros? Yeah, it's alright. I like Adelaide. It's, um, you know... I think Adelaide's a very underrated city. I don't get why people, you know, it's such a thing that people say Adelaide's boring, you know. But I don't get it like a place is boring. It's like, well, what what do you want to do there? Like, what can't, you know, like, why is it, what makes it boring is what I don't get. Gresham kicks it in, and now Langford takes a mark. So I was just checking where I was in the footy tipping. It turns out I'm 221st out of 256. But let me work out where I'd be if I had four more tips right. And if I was, um... If I didn't tip Hawthorne every single game. Oh, dear. Not loading the margins, but I'll be somewhere around the 100 mark. Langford comes in, the banana, and he's missed this one. No, I have to pick my sister up from work. Oh, poor thing, Speedy. That's no good. Let me update the scoreboard now before I forget. The Bombers now eight points in front in what's been a... um. Unusual quarter. Well, Speedy, if you if that means you have to go now, well, I'll um, see you later. Thanks for tuning in for now. Be back in 10, all right. Fair enough. Look forward to seeing you again then. Here you go, the doggies. Round the wing. Thumps it forward, but the bombers of the numbers. So pass down to the wing, Hobbs. Let me see, there's my... Yeah. Caldwell takes the mark on the wing. Is there's a siren. Half time. Here at Marvel. And it is an interesting game of football. Interesting, um... But well done to Essendon because um, they lead it by eight points against the odds. So, yeah, in my tits with my friend, I'm first. Good start, Soros. Well, <laughs> that's is that because um, they've all been tipping Adelaide every week? Because if so, then fair enough. Because I know all your friends are um, Adelaide supporters. So, but yeah, nah. Interesting start of this game of football. Let let me know your thoughts and if any of your tips have changed based on the first half of football. Yo says Toasty Pro. Yo. Welcome back. Did, did you leave it all? 
But yo, what's up? Fair chance that's mm, fair chance that's got something to do with it. Yeah. Although to be fair, your pies have um lost more than they've won. I don't know if you've been tipping them or not, but yeah. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in chat about this game of football. I am not sure. Maybe I might change my tip to the Bombers from here, but I mean, I guess it, you'd still stick with the Doggies. Still more likely to win, probably, but definitely the Bombers. Not going down without a fight so far. Oh, dear. What's happening? Pro TikToker. All right, let me have a look. And the over the top was one we needed. Langford, Stringer, and Gresham to get the ball into an uh, open forward line. Um, Langford's had four shots on goal. Stringer's had a couple, missed with a set shot from 40, didn't even score. Gresham's been unsighted. So we, the ball use is giving us a fair chance, but not, not Let me find quite it. as well as we'd like to in that. Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I did see. I, I think I saw one of them. I think one of them popped up. Yeah, yeah, the um the 2022 grand final. I actually saw that one. So yeah, that's you. That's interesting. We couldn't get through for about 10 minutes at that start of that second quarter. It looked a little bit port like. Then we went to the top to Sam Draper and he was able to take Let me watch a couple more. Long again to Langford. So we showed that there was some learning from last week. They consider me an extraordinary coaching performance by him if he was able to get this one up. You're under the pump, big fella. Eight points down. Yeah, you know, I'm a bit disappointed with the midfield goes. So it's spluttering at times, goes good in other areas. So we looked at this and said, you've got to be ready for the stoppages. Like Port Adelaide, the way they bashed up Essendon last week. Didn't see that enough, goes. Saw it a bit early in the second quarter. But the mm, good staff. Slow the bombers down. Yeah, that's a question mark at the moment. So, you know, there were some really good signs, especially in the start of that second quarter. The front half turnover was fantastic. On the back of the forwards, I think the forwards have had a good day, guys. The tall oh, that's a good one. Your um, your most recent ones, um, your most recent ones are a good one there. The, um, the Brisbane one. Can you follow me? Oh, okay. Fair enough. There you go. There's a fire. It's funny, I don't follow many people on my TikTok. Not because I'm trying to be stingy or anything. I just don't, you know, wouldn't know who to follow, really. So, yeah, no, I'll chuck you a follow. There you go. It's good stuff. Your most recent one about... um. Uh, Brisbane beating Collingwood by a point. Um, in the... Uh, in the like as your prediction, that was a good one. I mean, obviously it wasn't true, but I mean the editing was good. <laughs> Neo Liang says, loving the commentary, mate. I appreciate that, Neo. Good to see you here in the live stream. Um, don't know how you've even found out about this, but yeah, no, good stuff. I appreciate the kind words of encouragement. Watching everyone this stream. What do you mean, Soros? Watching everyone. I mean, I'm looking at everyone. It's comments or I don't know. Yeah, it's been a far more active chat than uh on uh you know. It's been a pretty active chat tonight. Neo says. What's the per month earning on this site? <laughs> I don't think I should disclose that so openly. Because that's a bit, you know... That's private information, my income on this... On, on what? On YouTube. It's a bit of a, you know... Got my second coke for the night, by the way, everyone. But it's nothing, you know... I'm not making big money off YouTube. It's the sort of thing where... It, you know, it's really a bonus. Like, you know... You really have to want to actually do this, particularly for someone my size, to, you know, to do it, you have to want to do it, is my point. Yeah. What do you think was my best one? Well, from the ones I watched, I'd say your most recent one. The one of um, who you think will win out of Brisbane and Collingwood. That definitely looks like the best of the ones I watched. Essendon have been to maintain their effort and their intensity throughout that half. I, 
See, that was a very good one because you had the scoreboard all right, and like the um, like the post-game scoreboard was all good, and like the the um, yeah, it was all good, good stuff. Let's take a look at some players in the Adelaide. Is the can of Coke the whole net profit? <laughs> well, I'm actually losing money from the can of Coke because I paid for this, but I'm not, you know. It's actually money going out. But obviously, you know, yeah, no, that's not my entire spendings are not going towards snacks from here. I think you get brought in this as well before, which will help keep me going. Just to some sort of snack. But Speedy's back. Welcome back, Speedy. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website. Levi says someone your size. What? I mean, you know. Oh, what? My size is a channel. I mean, you know. I'm saying. I'm not a, you know. I'm not a worldwide famous YouTuber, so I'm not making, you know. I'm not making huge money. I don't mean my physical size, I mean my size as a channel. Got the snacks to keep on going, that's right. I mean, I won't eat all that much, I just want to, you know. So I don't starve. Oh. Can you stream next Friday? It's my birthday. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I can't make any guarantees because I don't know who, what, you know. It all depends on what night works for me. But I haven't realised every week I've done it, it has been, like, every stream I've done so far has just been a Friday night. Which is definitely not, you know, a set rule, but... I mean, I'll see. Potentially next Friday, yeah, I could be streaming. But no, no guarantees. I'm promoting your channel to others. Can I get a cut from your profits for per viewer invited? Um. Uh, oh, you, you can contact the um the channel privately if you want to. Via uh, if you want to talk financially, but here we're just talking about football, so you know. But I need to see results. I need to see um people actually subscribing for it to be worthwhile. I'll be thirteen. I will be a teen. Well, congratulations, Speedy. That's a big um big milestone. That one, thirteen. For my um, you know. It's sort of a weird thought when you turn 13 to, like, you know, become a teen. You know, it's sort of a weird, like, it's a weird thought when you become one, you know, just to sort of like, oh, yeah, nah. It doesn't feel that long ago when I turned 13. Really, like, you know, feels quite recent, but it's been a few years now anyway. So, yeah, time flies when you're having fun, when you're having fun. But, yeah, no, nah, good stuff. Good stuff, Speedy. Happy birthday for next week. Drop the business email. Um, the business email is uh, aflTube1 at gmail.com. So, yeah, just aflTube, the number one, at gmail.com. So, if you want to contact me for business purposes, that's what you should email. Um, Rory's back, baby. Welcome back, Rory. Glad to see you here. I didn't feel a whole lot turning 13, says Soros. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Well, obviously, you don't feel, what, like, you don't feel a whole lot turning any age. It's just whatever, but, you know. For me, I did feel like it was like a, you know, ooh, a bit more serious to become a teenager, you know. Like it's one of the more, the more, definitely one of the more important birthdays. One of the more significant birthdays.
Sorry if my chewing is loud. I hope it's not. I mean, surely it's not too loud, but <coughs> I apologise if this is seen like a mukbang video sort of thing. Every Friday, my dad let me stay up to 11 and I'm watching footy. Oh, good stuff, Speedy. Good stuff. <clears throat> Everyone should be entitled to start to watch the footy. I mean, from about the age of, I think, hmm, probably about seven or eight, I think, I was allowed to stay up at least, like, just when Hawthorne were playing. If it was Hawthorne were playing a night game. But obviously, you know, if it wasn't, if, it, if anyone, if it was a random game, I wasn't allowed to for a bit longer. But the irony is we played far more night games then than we do now, obviously, in the position the team's in now. We don't play as many, so yeah. I found 15 more enjoyable starting going to football games by myself with friends, yeah. Although when you're 15, that's when the tickets become more expensive, I think, to the football. But obviously a lot of people I know don't actually pay, like, I mean, still do pay for tickets, for, like, you know, cheaper, pretending they're 14, but yeah. Even though it's been a while since they have been, but, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I think I went to, I think when I was 14, I still went, yeah, when I was 14, I went to some games with friends, like, with no parents. I was allowed to then. I don't think I would have been allowed too much before that, but yeah. We still do that every once in a while. <laughs> I see. Keep that on the download though. It's nine and I still got two hours so I can watch a stream. Let's go. That's great news. That's great news, Speedy. I'm wrapped that you will still be in here. as many viewers in is obviously the ideal so yeah no I'm glad to hear that imagine what you could be buying instead for free and confidential support call the number on the screen or visit the website decision with every step yeah it's an interesting question what we're just talking about like what birthdays are you know the most significant I guess for me 16 last year was like you know that was like obviously one 16 is one of the more you know I mean for me I thought 15 was sort of a bit more irrelevant you know sort of a bit just a random year in there I'm going to the game tomorrow Carlton versus Adelaide yeah good stuff speedy I mean, I hope for you, Carlton, get the win, but I don't know if I actually believe that. <laughs> if I actually do want that. But anyway, I'm sure, I'm sure Soros would want Carlton to win that. Turning 10 felt good double digits. Yeah. With an average return 10, 10 was nice. For the past 39 years. And my older brother, when he turned 10, which is going back a, a long time ago now, but he had such a carry on. He was like, you know, thought he was so good that, you know, he's finally double digits, like, as if he's better than us. Unbelievable. Up the baggers going to that one. A lot of Carlton supporters in here, I just realised. Speedy, Rory, and Saurus. All Carlton. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, see, so Soros, yeah. I wasn't sure, because, I mean, obviously... I wasn't sure about that, because, obviously, you are a... Um, a South Australian-based Collingwood supporter. But, yeah, so, you still, you still, so you'd still rather Adelaide win than, you know, got to stop Carlton from winning. I, I, I support that. You not wanting your uh, to your rivals to win. Are you taking him into us? Yeah, can we have him? 
No. Hmm. But have you tried you? It lets you see pricing, zoning, and data on any house, even if it's not for sale yet. Huh. Don't have a property eagle. It's got like a long half time break, even though it's. How long, how long we got? This is three minutes. Alright. That's exactly what my brothers did too. Oh, I, <laughs> I guess both of mine did. For me, it was um because I got two older brothers. For me, it was my oldest brother in particular. Like you know, he like really you know got into it. I have to go to bed in one hour now for some reason. Oh no! Will it be just enough to stay up for the rest of the game? Because this game will probably end in about you'd guess about an hour and ten minutes if you know. If it all goes as planned. <laughs> That's good encouragement, um good encouragement, uh, Rory. Levi says I'm gonna go gonna go like leave from the stream. Is that what you mean by you're gonna go? If so, see you later. You mean going to go to the football? But yeah, no. If it, that's if you're leaving, yeah. No, I'll see you. Thanks for tuning in, Levi. I'll see you later. Yeah, the oldest always carried on the most. Oh, exactly, Soros. That's right. Still does, my brother. Midfield matchups for me. I, I've been fascinated with uh, what Brad's got. <laughs> He's put Sam on to, uh, It's funny seeing all these Carlton supporters in the uh, I, I think the in chat. Has been really Good good. Stuff. We're talking about the, you know, potentially universally the, the number one player in the competition. Quite a lot of um. He's been able to get inside. Quite a lot of Carlton supporters at my school actually. I don't know why. Well, there's no particular reason why you think there should be, but. Because there's just quite a few of them. I'll take all the Carlton's supporters on. So you against everyone else that seems Soros. And here's Holly saying, hashtag go Hawthorne. That's right, Holly. So you got, you know, I'm glad there's someone else here on my same, um, the same boat as me, so... All right, the footy's about to start. I better remember because I forgot last quarter. I need to uh, update this thing to say third quarter rather than half time. I'm not on the ball at the moment about that, so I don't know why. It's not that I've been going to bed early. It's just that suddenly, you know, tonight I'm just tired. You know, it's one of those things. So Kilda should be GWS. It's at Monica and GWS don't play well there. Oh, oh yeah, I guess. Well, who did? I mean, I know that St Kilda beat them there a couple of years ago. I'm trying to think of the Giants games there last year. I know they lost to Brisbane, and they beat Gold Coast. I don't know what their other game. I'm trying to think of their other game there. I think it might have been another loss in between those two. Or maybe, hmm. No, let me see. Yeah, it is an interesting point, though. It's funny that GWS don't necessarily tend to play all that well there. Yeah, they lost the Bulldogs as well. There you go. <laughs> is that meant to be a Carlton jumper, that one speedy? Because it looks more like, um, looks more like Williamstown. So... Anyway, Bombers go into the 50. Langford's there, hunting it. Or hits deck. Libertore did well to get it to Norton. Norton wrapped up, but got away. Shrugs the tackle, kicks it long down the wing. Oh, great mark by Darcy. 
Saurus retracted a message. What was the message, Saurus? Did I respond to it? You're 16, aren't you? Oh, I see. There was a typo before. Yeah, I am 16. Are you 16? I know you said you were um 10 in 2017 and 18, so that would indicate that you might be. Complete misspelled it though. <laughs> yeah, I see. No, it's on the on the actual screen itself. It still says um. It's still there. Hugo Hagen flies at it. Or hits it down ground. Darwin clears it away. I thought he Langford gets it to deck. Bramble hunting it. Richards did well. Wins the footy. Can he kick it inside 50? He can eventually. He wheels around onto his left. Hugo Hagen has taken a mark. Not quite. Not paid. Played on. I guess, I, I guess he didn't control it enough. Langford wrapped up on the wing. McGrath, Sockers, Borog's there, hunting it. They get the handball away. Karmas into the 50. And the mark taken by Goldie. Good mark. Good mark by Goldstein there. Thirtieth September 07. Oh, okay. I'm I'm 23rd of October, so you're older than me, Soros. There you go. Congratulations. That must have been that must have meant you were born the day after the grand final that year. So there you go. What school you go to? That's a bit personal, don't you think, Speedy? I'm not sure if I should say my school. I mean, I'm ha I just said my date of birth, but I feel like school's a bit more personal, you know? <laughs> yeah, some grand final that one. Nah. Wasn't the best grand final. I mean, good thing you weren't alive yet, though, because... Far better grand final the next year is for the first one you were actually alive for, so... Ah, oh dear. Please, I might go there. What do you mean you might go there? Well, what score do you go to, Speedy? You tell me your score if, if you think you might go there. Did well, gets the footy to the ground. A socket forward, Karmas leading the foot race. Andrew throwing anyway. My birthday present last year was watching Colin win the flag on my birthday. Oh. Hmm. Oh yeah. That'd be right. I mean that would have been a good that would have been a good birthday present I can imagine. Draper kicks it in the 50 to Jones. Jones takes the mark. Big kick this one. Just to give Essen and a um <laughs> Hey Neo with a donation. Two dollars ninety two. Give yourself another can of coke, it's on the house. Cheers Neo. Appreciate that. That'll really help the uh the um the potential uh, food department of my live stream. So yeah, thank you. Second donation of the night. Let's go. Thank you, Neo. In the meantime, Harry Jones has kicked the goal, and and Essendon get another. <laughs> what a ledge, says Joel. Spot on, Joel. He is a ledge. Inspirational stuff. Yeah, really appreciate that. Another um, second donation of the night. So, 
Let's go. Doc Lane's high school. That's I oh, don't go to that school. I'm sorry, Speedy. That's not my school. Must be close to um where this game's currently taking place though. So interesting. In the meantime, Hugo Hayden takes a mark inside fifty. I'll send you five dollars to change an AFL tip. Make a risk, you know. <laughs> what 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 tip? Would you want me to, you know, change for five dollars? <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to do that if you know if you're donating five dollars. But what, what, what would it be? Then Hugo Hagen kicks a goal, pulls one back for the doggies. Checking to see if we hit the post, so stay tuned. It's 5k away, I see it every day. Hmm, yeah, I can imagine you would. 5k, wouldn't it be a bit closer than 5k? Well, actually, no, I know that. Oh, hmm, I don't know. Nah, no, it's a goal. Didn't hit the post. Haven't been paying attention to the game since when have they been up by three kicks? I don't know, good question, Source. I guess they just, you know, got in front by half time and now just, you know, came back. But now, you know, obviously just then, no longer. It's a goal to the Bulldogs. And the doggies. Back within eight points. That's why I'm going with the Carlton game. Oh yeah, fair enough. I mean, you could be going anywhere from Melbourne, you know. But yeah, that would definitely make it easier for you to get to the Carlton game. Living that close to it, living that close to the ground. Pushing the back advantage. They bring the ball back. So free kick to the Bulldogs. Near the middle of the ground. So they send it into attack. Bulldogs just starting to work their way back into it. And it's a ball up inside 50. I had a choice of going to this game or Carlton. And I saw that you were live streaming. So I went to the... Carlton, even though I still go for them. <laughs> so, what have you gone to them? Um, so, if I wasn't streaming, what have you gone um, tonight? Well, I appreciate it. If, if that's the reason, thank you very much. I mean, I'm very honoured that I was the, the difference in, um, you know, you going or not. Baker goes quickly, kicks it to the goal square, and it bounces through from behind. Seven point margin. I mean, that'd be sick though if you live that close to, you know, the stadium. Do you walk to the? Do you walk to the games? Like, do you live close enough to walk? Seven point game. No, nah, blue bags are them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd be that'd be right. Meantime, ball inside. Essence fifty. Oh, great run and tackle. Sorry, I'm suddenly applauding today. I haven't I haven't applauded in the past. I'm just applauding good footy both ways. But what just happened there was um running out of defence. Ed Richards gets run down by um by Harry Jones. I live 40 minutes from the Adelaide Oval. 40 minute walk or drive? I mean, that's a, that's a big difference, that one. I'm assuming you mean walk, because you're just talking about walk. Yeah, no, that's still, that's pretty close. Do you walk? If it's walk, do you walk? 
As Jones comes in and misses, that would have been a big one to make them pay. Oh, drive. Oh, yeah. That makes it a bit, obviously, a lot more difficult. I mean, for me, I live... I mean, I live in the eastern suburbs, so I live closer to um, the MCG than, um, you know, live near Hawthorne, so, you know. But I live nearer um, the MCG than Marvel. It's not too far for either of them, though. The favourite non-horse player says Joel. Ah. Uh, meantime, Mort Norton marks inside 50. There you go. But, um... Favourite non-horse player? Um, that's such a hard question. Across the league, my favourite non-horse player. I would say... I'll say... Oh, mm. I'll say... Uh, I'll say Taylor Duray. I say Taylor Duray, he's my favourite um, non Hawthorne player. But it's a behind to the Western Bulldogs. Next goal, massive in this game. This is a very, very crucial part of the game. It's free. Free public transport. Is that like, what, for like game day? I and mean, they don't have that in Melbourne. I know they have it in most cities, like, you know. Most cities, they actually have like a, you know, yeah, like free public transport to go to like sporting events like the footy. They don't in Melbourne, which that would be nice, but tough life, I guess. Favourite Hawks player, says Holly. Don't have one. Don't have a favourite player. I'm a, um, you know... It used to be Jared Ruffhead back in the day, but, you know, I love them all. I can't... I guess it varies from week to week, you know, whoever's playing well, but... It takes me 20 minutes to get the MCG. Yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't be too long, I know, anyway, because, you know... I mean, if you're around Dockland sort of area, obviously, both... The, both Marvel and the G are pretty close to the city, so yeah. Durham weighs his way through and kicks it out of bounds. I know you guys don't have that luxury being there enough times to know. <laughs> yeah. It's a shame. Oh, well. Anyway, Drake ran to the ruck behind. Uh, so it's a behind of the Bombers. Increase the lead by just a little bit. As Joel says, Macca's order. Uh, oh, two large Big Mac meals um, with Coke and an M&M McFlurry. That's if I'm really hungry. If not one, but... Probably just one meal, but, you know, that's if we're really, you know, needing a serious feed. Do you reckon I'll have enough time to watch the full game? Well, what's your bedtime? Is it is it 10? Is that is that the time you need to, uh, you need to go to bed? Sounds yummy. Oh, cheers, Joel. I appreciate that. It is yummy. <laughs> Actually, why don't I take that as a compliment? But yeah, no, it is yummy. That's why I get it, so... Uh, Speedy says, yep. Yeah. So, probably not. No, definitely not. The game won't be finished by 10. I mean, it won't finish long after 10. Maybe you could just try and push the bedtime just that bit further out. If you can. But yeah, won't be quite done by 10, you wouldn't have thought. Oh, dear. Bombers go into the 50, Stringer takes a mark. It's funny, I'm not calling the game as much right now, but it's such a big point of the game. Big, 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 you know. 
Well, Speedy, how about you say... You, how about you say that, you know, if it's, um... Like, if it's within a certain margin late in the game, you get to stay up. Because if it's not, then, you know, it's not really worth it if it's pretty clear who's going to win. But, like, if it's still close, then maybe that... A stringer kicks, just misses. Jeez, that would have been some goal. The behind staying quite a few behinds each way in a row now. Nine point lead to the Bombers. Yo says CJ Coast. Yo, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Great to see you in here. Ooh, so I wasn't calling that there, but the Bombers just had a half opportunity to sort of mess it up. Said this is not a lot, but I can't emphasise enough how big the next goal feels. If the Bombers get the next goal back, you know, it's a handy break again. So, big, big part of this game. And the Bulldogs have got to get it to, you know, stay right in it, get it back to it, you know. An even money ball game sort of thing. Can you pray Bulldogs still in? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I won't do a formal prayer, but you know, I hope for you. That I hope for you, and I. I mean, genuinely myself, I probably hope the Bulldogs win. So you know. But yeah, no, I know for you, it's a, it's a, it's a big deal, Toasty. So. Quarter. What do you mean, Speedy? Why is that in quotations? What's that about? Anyway. Still, I appreciate. Quarter. Time, I still appreciate about it. What are you? Uh, I'm confused. I can't work out what you mean there. Might try and want to explain that a bit more. Maybe I'm just being stupid, but I can't wrap my head around what you're trying to say there. A big moment here. Gresham gives it to Parrish. It gives it to Hobbs. Hobbs kicks it across the space. There's a lot of open space here for Jones. As he approaches the 50, kicks it goalward to a pack of Bulldogs players. Oh, no. They're giving the free to Stringer, and Langford pops a, through a goal. That's the perfect example right there of someone getting a free kick. Um, yeah, you know, three and one against him. Seemed like the only reason he got the free kick, because, you know... Oh, dear. Anyway, you sub to me. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no worries about subscribing. That's, you know... No, 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 you know. It's free for me, so, yeah, nah. Good stuff. I encourage you to keep posting. If you want to, you know. Can't talk because I've taken breaks before, but... Yeah, nah, good stuff. But, you know, good stuff for, um... Building up your channel... I had the opportunity to watch this game, but have instead kept up the stream streak. <laughs> I appreciate that, Saurus. Good stuff. Can you not um do both at once? Is there not some way you could, you know, do both? Langford kicks it across. Stringer nearly takes the mark. Ball still in play there. Stringer couldn't quite get to it. I'm talking whilst I'm eating, but anyway... More go down the line. It's a good mark. Waitman. Going down the line. It's thumped over by Mackay and it'll be a boundary throwing. My mum dislikes me being on two devices at once. Ah, oh, that's stiff. That's stiff. My mum used to say that quite a bit. 
I, she sort of let up a bit now because it's sort of a bit harder, but, you know, that is stiff. Does it do... I, don't, I mean, I'm no scientist, but I don't know. Does it do harm to, like, you know, be watching two at once? I don't know what the science behind that is. Like, is that worse than just watching one? If anyone knows, explain it to me. I know that's something people say, but if you know, explain it to me. It's now boundary throwing in the side. Uh, just inside Essence, forward 50. Suddenly they kick the crucial goal that I was talking about. And suddenly they find themselves 15 points in front. Baker wrapped up, holding the ball. The Dons will go inside 50, but it's a poor kick. From the advantage, he's turned the ball over straight away. Pretty silly, that one. When my brothers were younger, they got away with things like that. Maybe she just cares about you more, Soros, than your brothers. Maybe try and look at it that way. I mean, I can't lie, I'd probably get away with more than what my brothers did, like, for that sort of thing. Like, if I'm being honest, because I've got two older brothers, as I said before, but, yeah. I'd probably, on average, get away with more than what they did, so. Saurus, we've been in this this whole game, yeah. I know, fair play to both of you, Saurus and Speedy. Been in the stream since the start. I appreciate both of you. Here's a chance for the Doggies. Into the 50, Waitman. Kicks it long and deep. But the Dons at the numbers, they clear it, but it's a terrible kick. Didn't have much to kick to. And the Dogs go back in and a mark there for Waitman. We that's most lucky because I'm the most awesome out of us. <laughs> Well, yeah, well, that's most lucky because I'm the most awesome out of us. Mother likes me more. Yeah, exactly. That must be it. That's the only explanation, so just take it that way. Zwaitman comes in and he's pulled it to the left. Joel, sorry, you said before, thoughts on Norse Premiership charge. I don't know, Jolly. I don't know. I don't know much about Norse Premiership charge, but I guess we'll find out as it happens. And then I'll tell you my thoughts on it. But as of now, I don't have many, uh, many thoughts on it. Should Melbourne be charged for what happened? What happened, Neo? Is that something I've missed in the... What, what are you talking about, specifically? I'm trying to think. What, what? I'm not allowed, but I would donate, says Speedy. <laughs> I, appreciate the, I appreciate the thought. It's the thought that counts, Speedy, so I'm glad that you would. But definitely don't go spending your parents' money if, you know... If you definitely don't, you know... But I appreciate that you, you know, you're saying you would. I appreciate that. How you have not heard. Well, explain to me, Neo. What's going on? What's going on with Melbourne? Should they be charged with losing to Brisbane? Richards with a big fly. Spilt it though. Now Essendon have the numbers. Oh no. Jeez. They were right out the back there. But. <laughs> Durham just had to keep it in play. But he couldn't. But Richards. Very. You know. Richards. The fact that he didn't take the mark. Made it very risky. What a brilliant night. How are you AFL Tube? Glad to be on the live again. Thanks Isabel. Welcome back. I know you were here the past couple of weeks. At least at some point. So, yeah, no, welcome back. And, um, yeah, uh, I'm doing all right on this brilliant night. Thank you. How are you? 
What happened, says Speedy. Speedy, I'm in the same boat as you. I don't know what happened either. Top five songs at the moment. <laughs> He's throwing all questions at me. I don't know. I don't want to get judged for my taste in music, so I don't know. I don't know my top five songs. It's the sort of thing I have to really, you know, look into to find a uh, good list, so. You know. But yeah, I don't know. Anyways, the Bulldogs head forward. Bowman couldn't quite. Parrish did well. Gives it off to McGrath. To Goldstein. Back to McGrath. McGrath now on the charge with 10 seconds to go in the quarter. He kicks it long towards forward 50. A big moment here. Langford kicks it forward. Are they going to get a mark? No, couldn't quite. It's spilt on the ground. And the Bulldogs will retaliate surely. They'll survive till three quarter time. Big final quarter coming up now. It's a great game of footy here. Here at the docks. So we'll see what happens. How's it going, Tubi? Welcome back, Rory. Great to see you in here again. It's going all right. I'm just intrigued to see uh, where this game's headed. Just that, Jake, my friend is in Bali. Doesn't mean... Doesn't mean I can't give him crap if the dogs lose, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can give him crap. If he deserves it. Was well, he a doggies fan, so yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Only if he'd do the same to you. You don't want to, uh... You don't want to give him crap if he's a, uh... You know... Wouldn't, wouldn't do the same. Max Gordon is on trial, but the gloves don't fit. Well, that's the first I'm hearing about this now. Cheers for um, informing me. Who do I want to win the Brownlow, says Levi? Uh, who do I want to win? Um, I mean, well, it's early enough so that I'll say, you know, Hawthorne player. I mean, I guess, you know, I guess James Warple. He'd be the most likely of ours at the moment, but, you know, I don't think we'll win enough games for that to be possible, so. Hmm. Interesting. Michelle has high blood pressure, and the rising cost of living certainly doesn't help. Annie manages her diabetes with good nutrition, but fresh fruit and veg prices keep rising. And Jack has high cholesterol. But nothing is higher than his pet bills. Oh, he would. He That's did on Sunday for blowing a 38-point lead. We still won. <laughs> well, someone even tried to, you know, tell me that, you know... Like, they criticised me for saying I was, like, proud of Hawthorne for, you know... Coming back. You know, I said I was, like, you know, I thought it was a good effort. You know, and they said that's embarrassing, you know... If I, we still lost, and I thought it was a good effort, but you know, it's all relative. If we, if we played better than we were before, obviously I was going to be, you know, saying it was a good effort. I think Western Bulldogs twelve ten eighty two, Don's eleven eight seventy four. Hope well. <laughs> let's hope you're right, um, Tosi, because that's a uh, important for you. That would be a good result for you. And it's a big loss for you if it um. The backfires. No, I have to go for tonight. Oh no, Speedy. I've got five minutes. So you won't even be able to see, you know, who won. That's a shame. <laughs> Good to see the boys um, showing their support for Speedy. Speedy, show um show your uh your mum or your dad, whatever, show them the uh show them the chat everyone wanting you to stay. So People like that are just weird. It was a very good effort from Hawthorne in the end. Yeah, I know. Definitely. I mean, obviously the first half was shocking. And I admitted that. The first half was terrible, you know. As bad as I've seen, but... You know, no doubt the second half was a good effort. 
just shows the difference. We started kicking goals rather than, you know, missing everything. So, it makes a difference when you kick goals, doesn't it? No, oh, I get to see who wins. I just can't stay with my device. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, okay. So you can't, you know, be on the stream. That's fair enough. Well, we've um, if you if if you have to leave soon, I appreciate your uh, you know, you you being involved in the stream all night. It's much appreciated. So. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad to see you with the uh, the whole chat giving you uh, giving you their support. Good good stuff, guys. It's uh, I'm sure Speedy really appreciates it. Don't leave Speedy being here all night as well, says Soros. Yeah, you too. You know, you've been at it since the beginning. Be, it'd be terrible to just you know throw that all the way now. Guys, what, what, what speed? <laughs> what, what, what are those what's about? Brad's got to be thinking it would have been great to get more than two points from that field position, but he'll take it. Oh, and if there's a two point Bulldogs position, more like boo dogs, says Toasty. Yeah. Yeah. Got him there, Toasty. But you don't want to boo them because then they won't get the job done for you if you need them to win. I just got a red card in pro clubs. What's the advice, YouTube? Um, just settle down and play a bit more, uh, you know, play a bit more. Um, uh, be a bit more gentle. Just compose yourself a bit more. I think it's an opportunity miss because it's just a chance to feed into that team and ship. And stay because you guys spend the chat saying <laughs> saying let me stay. Oh, that is that is one of the great moments right there. So what you're allowed to stay because everyone said they want you to stay. <laughs> What was your mum or dad like? You know, oh, fair enough. If the people want you to stay, then I guess you, I guess you have to. Hashtag community. That's right, Neo. That's right. That's right. I'm glad that the community stood up and um and uh, stood up for Speedy in this uh tragic time. You're so hot, says Luca. <laughs> Luca, don't make me blush, mate. Jeez. Jeez, you know, don't know how to respond to that one. Jeez. Fourth quarter, here we go. Essence straight into attack. The rush behind already, so. <laughs> Luca, wow. Luca's just come out of the blue and started um, throwing shots at me, you know. Might need to take some deep breaths to compose myself now. Hey, what's up, says Riley Burke. Hey, Riley, welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Good to see you in here. I've got a lot in here at the moment now, 13. My mum was like, no, Parker, you still have to go to bed. And I was like, hell no, I want to stay with everybody. And dad was like, hell yeah. <laughs> shout out to um everyone. Shout out to uh, Speedy's dad. Because, you know... Shout out, shout out to, uh, yeah, the great man for letting one of the great people of the stream uh, stay in here. <laughs> yeah, Isabel, good point, Isabel, about um, about Luca. That is a good point. I have, I have said on previous occasions that let's keep the chat football related, but yeah, that is a a reasonable point. Just caught me off guard a bit. That's all. I didn't know. I didn't know how to respond to that one. From Luca. W from Speedy Parents. That's right. Speedy Parents or Speedy's dad at least. That's a W from him. Norton couldn't quite bring the mark down. What's happening here? It's a ball up. It looks like. Neo's now saying. Uh, now is now copying Toasty there with that comment. I'm trying not to fall asleep. That's not saying you're boring. I've just finished a 15-hour shift. Jeez, 
15 hour shift. You've been, what, you've been at it since like 6am or something. Is that even like legal? <laughs> well, you better have been, you better have been getting good money for that, Riley, or else, you know. Jeez, 15 hours. Oh, into the 50 and Hugo Hagen's taking a mark. This is big. Lads, how good is Sam Darcy? Oh. Has he, been, has he been doing well in the stats? I haven't been, you know. I haven't been watching closely enough to, uh, to know. Or is that just a general comment? As Hugo Hagen lines up, massive kick for the Bulldogs in the context of the game, and he's pulled it to the right. No good. My dad sent... My dad said, thanks, lads. Oh, no. Speedy, not thanks to us. Thanks to your dad for being such a such a top bloke. He, sound, he sounds like just a sensational person all around your dad for uh, letting, you, letting you stay in the live stream. <laughs> um, yeah. Going to be the best tall forward in the comp in five years. Or well, could easily be. You know, high pick... Certainly got a lot of potential, so yeah. That's nursing for you. Oh, jeez, yeah. Seems like a um would be a tough gig that one. Not sure I'd be quite cut out for something like that. Just anything where I'd have to work fifteen hours is just too much for me. Free kick to Essendon. Odds on Luke Davidson, Brownlow win. Um, I reckon the odds are against it, a Luke Davidson, Brownlow win. I don't think that's very likely at this stage. Hobbs kicks it in and the mark taken by Jones. And this, to give the Bombers the biggest lead of the game of 19 points and to really solidify their control in this game. Happy because Dad winning Brownlow of chats. Oh, he sure is. He sure is by 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 far as well. Saurus might get second place, but yeah, your dad's got to be number one. As Jones kicks a goal, and the Bombers kick away. You know, if um if Essendon win here. This would mean that every single game I've streamed so far has been an upset. Because I streamed uh, Brisbane Carlton in opening round. That was an upset. Carlton win. Um, then St Kilda beating... St Kilda beating Collingwood. Yeah, that was an upset. What was the round one one? No, well, Collingwood-Sydney, that was an upset, of course. No, I didn't do St Kilda-Collingwood, sorry. Not St Kilda-Collingwood, I meant, um... I meant Sydney-Collingwood the week before. Yeah, and then Adelaide-Geelong, that was an upset as well. No 7 after the big guy tonight at AFL Tube, or just AFL Tube. Yeah, Isabel, that was only because I had KFC. That's the only reason I'd be drinking a, um, a 7 up, but... No KFC tonight, so... As Trelaw goes into the 50, and it's going to give away a free kick, free kick to Essendon. I noticed that, a bit of a switch up of the beverage of choice. Oh, well, you know, I think I still was drinking Coke in the R. Uh, I've still been drinking more Coke than uh, than 7 Up. That was just a one off the 7 Up. Goldstein in the 50. Essendon. Chance to run away with this game. It's a ball up. Ball up inside Essendon's 50. Another goal to Essendon here, and they're really, really starting to get away from the doggies. Who drinks seven up? Sienna, I was... Well, welcome to the stream, first of all, and because I was had I had KFC, is that not the one time people actually might get seven up? Because it's, you know, just... 
what you get at KFC, like what you can get at KFC as that sort of drink, like a lemonade. Hey, this is Parker's dad. He's in the toilet hour. <laughs> well, if that's if that if that's you, if that's you, Parker's dad or Speedy's dad, welcome. You're a great man for letting Speedy um for letting Speedy stay in the uh in the live stream. But yeah, but make sure he still gets a good night's sleep though, because he's got to be right for the footy tomorrow. You're a ledge, says Neo. Yeah, no, he is. I don't know if you're talking about me or him. I assume you're talking about him, uh, Speedy's dad, but he is a ledge. Yes. Speedy's dad is a legend. You could have had Pepsi, Pepsi Max, Solo, etc. Okay, but I had 7-Up, so what are you going to do about it? As the doggies go forward, or the bombers go forward, sorry, Davey, into the 50... Surely that's a free kick, not paid. Goal to Essendon. Gresham, he could have been a free kick to the doggies. Not paid. And Essendon running away with it now. This is a... um Starting to uh, really, really get away from him. You know, I said this. I said this before the game. I said Essendon, you know... People weren't giving Essendon a good enough chance. Admittedly, I can't talk because I still didn't tip them, but... Oh, dear. He's being naughty, but got to stay in the chat. <laughs> right, right, yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right, Parker's dad. He's, a, he's been a naughty boy, but, you know, that's just the rules. If the chat wants him to stay, I mean, the chat has the final say, don't they, ahead of parents, you would have thought. I love 7up. Don't listen to haters. Thank you, Neo. Thank you. You know, like, obviously 7up's not my favourite drink, but like, what? Why are you so anti 7up? Like, that just seems a bit harsh. It's not that bad, is it? So you're out of two for tipping now. Yep, same. Assuming Essendon win here, same. Just terrible, because, you know, last week I tipped some slight underdogs, you know, thinking, oh, I get the feeling they'll win. The two first two games this week, they've been, you know, slight-ish underdog sort of thing. Who I've once again thought, oh, I could easily see them both winning this. And now, you know, <sighs> looks like they're going to both win. Brisbane last night and Essendon tonight. These are some shocking snacks, says Sienna. What do, you, what do you want me to say, Sienna? Okay. The cheesels. That's all I had, okay? That was just what was in the house. You know. I mean, how about you watch the football rather than crit criticising what I eat? <laughs> you see, yeah, good, good. Spot on, spot on speed. Guys, snacks and beverages don't sound like football. Can we keep, keep please keep this strictly football? Spot on, Rory. We've got an intriguing game of football going on, and all you can talk about is what I'm eating. I'm fine if you do, but so long as you're not criticising it the way Sienna is. Why are the cheesels in a bag? I don't know. Because it's a, it's a party pack. What do you... What do you want me to say? I'm sorry, I'm sorry they're not in a box. Is that, is that, is that what you want? Luca Rules says, bro, Essendon will win. It certainly looks that way at the moment. They're looking all over the doggies at the moment and not looking like stopping, so... Certainly nearly home now, just about as Durham goes in and he's kicked another one. Pretty much shutting the gate now, or at least making it very, very, very difficult for the doggies. But wow. Wow, we. Thirty one point margin now all of a sudden at Marble. But the dog's in a bit of trouble now. Is it, is it, does that mean roll the dice or something? 
Because it was like a domino thing. That's what I'm guessing. Roll the dice. For the doggies, they just put up a thing that was like, you know, one of those card thingos. So, yeah. Dogs are just always going to be a mediocre team. Mediocre team. That's right. Well, it looks that way right now. But then again, if Essendon lost, I'd say the same thing. They're both... Uh, Funny, it's like they're both mediocre teams. You'd say the doggies have been on balance slightly better, though, on par. But Caldwell, here's another chance for the Bombers. Kicks it up to the goal square. Stringer couldn't quite. And the ball goes out of bounds. Could Essendon win the flag, says Joel. Um, no, I don't think so, Joel. I would be shocked if they won the flag from here. That would really be something, but, you know, never say never if you're an Essendon supporter. Crap, 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 says <laughs> Speedy. Well, yeah, Speedy, um... Uh, Toasty, there are 11 and a half minutes left and Essendon are 31 points in front and to have a shot to increase the lead to 37. So I think you're in some trouble right now, Toasty, for your, uh, for your betting. I think you might be about to lose $592. Condolences if you if you are to lose that money. As Dersma comes in, and it's a goal. And he's done the bow and arrow celebration. The umpires are going to check it, but I don't see how it's not a goal. Yeah, see, way over the goal line. I'm doing so bad at tipping. Same. Same, same speedy. I'm doing terrible. So it's another goal to Essendon. They now lead it by 37 points. With 11 minutes to go. <clears throat> Might have to head off, lads. It's been a big night. W to Speedy's dad. Hit me up if he's single. Oh, Isabel. I mean... He did refer to his mum being there with uh, his dad as well. So, I'm guessing his dad isn't single. But, you know, we'll see. Yeah, his dad ain't single. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, but I do approve of the uh, the community, some matchmaking in amongst the uh, AFL Tube community because that would be, um, you know, a lovely thing. Isabel says, yeah. Isabel, can you explain to me what you have in mind? I know this chat should be football related, but explain to me what you mean by that. As Stringer comes out of the middle, as they come, as the Bombers come out of the middle and Stringer takes a mark. <coughs> I haven't even... Have I... Yeah, I have. Wait. Sorry. The, the, the thing's behind. But yeah, no, I have updated the scoreboard. Whoa, 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 what happened? 53 to 90, that's right. And it could, and it's about to be more. Stringer to make it a 43 point margin. He pops it straight through the middle. And Essendon. Just because there's a goalkeeper don't mean you can't score. I, mm, I mean, I do approve of um, Speedy's parents if they're happily married and, you know, or whatever. If, if they've raised such a lovely young boy, I wouldn't approve of uh, trying to split that up. Yeah, it says, Sienna Perry went to Louisville. Heard, yeah. Good one, Neo. And let's keep it a bit respectful, though. That might be getting a bit, you know, getting a bit hostile. We might want to uh, stay respectful to one another because that's a that's a big insult. That one. 
They're up by 43 points. That's right, they are. They've just kept kicking goals. What can I say? Very concerning for the doggies now. Johansson to Baker. Out wide. McRae. Takes a mark and kicks it inside 50. <clears throat> they clear it away, Essendon. Parrish. Gives the hand off to Martin. Starting to become a training drill for him, but a poor kick and it's turned over. Is that a high tackle free kick? It looks like it is. I've left watching the game five minutes ago because it's so boring because Essendon kicked like 10 in a row. That's right. It is becoming a bit boring game. That's a good crowd they just showed. Above 50,000. Yeah, crowd above 50,000, not bad. Not bad at all. Hobbs gives it off. Now they do a switch here, the Bombers. Well, dangerous, but it works. Now they'll go streaming forward. Nearly, I mean, that's got to be the worst call ever made. Um, I don't know, I thought it was quite a clever one. I thought it was quite clever, to be honest. Neo says favourite meat pie flavour. Oh. It's got to be like, you know... It's got to be just a, you know, plain pie. Like a steak or beef or whatever pie, you know. Keep it simple, to be honest. I mean, you know, not to say I'm against other pies in general, but, you know, like I wouldn't mind a shepherd's pie, you know. So potato or, you know. I'm not a big cheese and bacon fan, but, you know, got to be the OG. Don't mind a pepper pie either, like pies with like peppers on. How long left, says Toasty? Eight minutes, 43 points, yeah, so, you know. I'm sorry, but I think you might be in a little bit of trouble now. It's getting to the point where it's a bit, you know, going to be a bit of a tricky one. Strong choice, hashtag get rid of chicken and leek. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's atrocious stuff. Good old my dad forever, he knows how to play the game, says Speedy. <laughs> that's because side by side you stick together. As Hugo Hagen comes in and misses. Oh dear, that's a symbol of the night for the doggies. And if there was any slight glimmer of hope for the dogs before that kick, it's it's all gone now. I mean, it is a handy point in that it makes it an even seven goals. Poor kick in though. Chance here for the dogs. Trelaw. There's another footy on the ground. I don't know if they're going to deal with that or not. Darcy in the goal square. Gets a boot to it. It's a goal. It's a goal. And let me... I think they're going to review it. I'll give it a goal for now, but... They're reviewing it. Got a boot to it. Wasn't touched there. He definitely had the last footing on the ball. It's got to be a goal, surely. Is that a bit of life in the game now? Suddenly, even six goals. Hashtag, I'm bad at AFL tipping. Yeah, I'm sorry, Toasty. I'm sorry. 600 bucks is it now? Out the, out the, out the door. 
not ideal financially. Unless they pull off some absolute miracle here. That looks pretty bad now. If Essendon kicked two more, the double the double Bulldogs points at half time, it was like five points. Yeah, the double Bulldogs points, and at half time it was like five points, yeah. I oh, know, it's crazy. I mean, not anymore now. They now need four goals to double it, obviously, now that the Bulldogs have, um, now that the Bulldogs have kicked one. But yeah, no, that's, it's crazy. If Charlie Kerno kicks 200 goals tomorrow, is that a lock for the Coleman? No, it's not. Because then if he got injured the week after, then, you know, I mean, it put him in good nick, but, you know, you never know what can happen. If you kick 10 goals to put him way in front in the second last game or something, then maybe it would make him close to a lock. But, you know, you still never know. It's so early. Put him in the box seat, but still, you never know. Anything can happen. And that's what's great about footy. You just never know what's going to happen. subs you want by the end of the year? Good question. I'll say no. Oh, I'll say 4,000, I guess. Maybe a bit ambitious, I don't know, but I'll just say that as like a, you know, you got to set high goals if you want to achieve. So, yeah, I'll say 4,000. Last year I was third on the ladder in tipping, now I'm 12th. Out of how many, Speedy? But yeah, no, that's no good. My tipping's been atrocious as well. Free kick to the dogs. Question is, like, if Giants go 0-23 and, and are up by 76 in the granny, will they win the grand final? Um, I think you mean if they go 23-0, and 0, not 0-23. Because 0-23 would be impossible because they've already won, what, four games? But, yeah, well... I reckon if they're up by 76 points in the grand final, um, if they're up by 76 points in the grand final, I would back them in to win the premiership from there. <clears throat> so Martin kicks it out of defence, headed towards the boundary, will it stay in at will? Johannesson did well to keep it in, but he gets tapped out eventually. Five minutes to go, 36 points. It's now becoming impossible, even under the uh, the Lee Matthews the Lee Matthews theory of you know goals and minutes. Of you still a chance if you know if you if you if there's more if there's more minutes to go, then there are goals you need to kick. Here they go, here's a chance. Norton, this will be a goal. And it is. Seemingly only a consolation prize. Five goal games is Toasty, that's right. But seemingly too little too late for the dogs. But we'll hope for a um a miracle here on the stream to add a bit of excitement to our Friday nights. Because that would be something if they won from here. But yeah, just not been on tonight, the doggies. And they'll find themselves two and three. Simple as that. This is where their accuracy is going to come back to haunt the doggies. Equal scoring shots with the Bombers. But 9-12 was costly. They had the momentum in the second quarter. Couldn't convert. And ever since then, it's been all Bombers. And little things along the way out up. In Bruce. So, ball up, back in the middle. Dogs come back in coming. <laughs> well, we'll see. Your day's been bad. Why speak? Well, because of this. What else has happened? I mean, I don't, if you, don't, you don't have to tell me, but 
Anyway, here go the dogs streaming forward. Heading into attack. Chalor kicks it into the 50 out wide. Mark to Darcy inside 50. Very difficult cop. <laughs> Very difficult shot. <laughs> you need a, um, some sort of kick to kick it from here. This to make it possible again with the Lee Matthews theory, as I said before. He pops it to the goal square. And that, my friends, is a handy behind for the doggies. So you can't write them off. 29 point ball game. 9 13 67 to 15 6 96. Four minutes to go. 29 point game here at the Dome, at the Marvel, at the Docks. How many subs for a Q&A fan mail stream? Uh, a lot, a lot, Neo. <laughs> fan mail. I don't get much fan mail, so I'd need to get... More the question is, how much fan mail would I need to get to do a fan mail live stream? So, that's 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 the question I'm wondering. Because I lost five subs today. Now I'm 12th, I'm now 12th in tipping. You lost five subs? How? What? Just randomly? I'm sure if if you if you, if everyone in, in chat's willing, I'm sure they could get those subscribers back for you if they, if they all want to help help out your day. I mean, I've already subscribed, so I can't do any more. But if the other people want to help you out. I'm sure they. Well, I'm sure they would want to help you out. In the meantime, doggies into the fifty. Is this a goal coming up? No, it's not. It's a behind. Oh no, it's a nothing. Was it out on the fall? Yes, it was. Twenty nine points. Three minutes to go. Big win for Essendon here. Something's happened. They're talking about. I think they think Liberatore fell over. Inexplicably, just moments before. Jeez. Apparently, Liberatore collapsed and then just hopped up. I guess that's what the commentators are saying. Ah. Ball in at the fifty. For the Bulldogs. Two minutes to go and the Bombers clear it again. Heading down the middle, Parrish. Got the handball away just before he was run down. Davey in the middle, it's so open. Around the back, Parrish over the top. You've got numbers everywhere. Or you just go short to Jones. The Bulldogs players get back. Bye everyone, bye Speedy. See you later Speedy. Uh, yeah, just say thank you to your dad for me before you go. Uh, but yeah, no, good stuff, Speedy. Thanks for tuning in all night. I appreciate that. And go and, go and get yourself a good night's sleep now. Good stuff. Uh, well, we'll be just turning it all the way around. Yeah, the other margin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bombers got this one in the bag, says Neo. Yes, I think so now. I mean, I know you would have asked that a minute ago, but yeah, I, I definitely even more so now. 29 points with a minute, exactly. All down the middle, Hugo Hagen. Kicks it out wide. Mark taken by Aaron Norton. Goes into the 50, can Waitman take a mark? Can't quite, ball on ground. Redmond sockers it away. Or dribbles it away, rather, sorry. To the wing. McRae kicks it short to Williams. Love all of you guys. Cheers, AFL team. No, cheers, cheers to you, Speedy Sports. Thanks for tuning in. You equals go. Nah, your dad and you are the go, Speedy. But yeah, nah, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll um, see you next time, hopefully. But now, Tim English will have a shot for goal after the siren. For a mini potential consolation prize for the Bulldogs in what's been an ugly night for them. And another upset 
in a live stream for me. That makes it four from four. As English comes in and the kick is across the face for one behind. Oh no, out on the full. And that's it, full time everyone. Full time at Marble Stadium. The Bombers have responded from last week. And the Dogs now sit at two and three. And they've dropped a game that many would have thought they would win. But a good performance from Essendon. Well deserved victory. Just too good for the Doggies in the end tonight. said four quarter time lol oh oh did it oh fourth time yeah would have said that yeah 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 well, sorry that's what happens when I'm you know changing it but yeah toasty condolences mate I feel I feel terrible for you <laughs> what's the, what's the plan now you're gonna make up that money tomorrow or something JJ has loved the stream. Nah, yeah. Cheers, cheers, Neo. Cheers for that. Yeah, it was a good game of footy. What a game of footy. What an intriguing game of footy. Um... The dogs, I mean, you know, it just once again shows Essendon so hard to, you know, pinpoint where they're at. Like last week they looked terrible for most of the game and then, you know, this week they come out and win relatively comfortably in the end. So, you know, it's an interesting game, footy. I don't know, it's says Toasty, ah. Oh. Poor thing, mate. Poor thing. And what about your celebration? You're rolling with something new this year. Talk us through that one, Jay. Yeah, no. Nah, interesting game of football. Might wrap the stream up again in a few minutes. Tell me all your final thoughts on the footy. I mean, it looks like we've all got another tip wrong, it seems. So, yeah. But I will say, I did say before the game, people shouldn't ride off Essendon. They're a good chance. And a good chance at ruining my tipping even more. So... Thanks for the stream again, Chuby. Yeah, no, nah, thanks, Saurus, for tuning in once again. You've been great, mate. Like, every week, coming in. Like, you've been you've been pretty much in the streams non-stop since the first stream I've done at the start of this year. So, yeah, thanks, mate. Appreciate that a lot. Yeah, anyone who's still in chat, share final thoughts, opinions, whatever's on the game before I wrap this up soon. But, yeah, no, nah, what I was saying before, yeah, um... Four upsets now from the four games I've streamed this year. So, maybe there's something in that. It almost makes me think maybe I should stream the Hawthorne game tomorrow, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything because we all know that as soon as I did do that, obviously, it wouldn't go my way. And good luck to the Hawks tomorrow night. Oh, yeah, cheers, Saurus. Cheers, Saurus. Appreciate that. Let's hope. Let's hope that suddenly we can... um. Pour something out of the hat on the Gold Coast, which I'm not really anticipating, but yeah, I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can do something. Is there a stream tomorrow, says Toasty? Probably not. Probably not. Not for the Hawthorne game. I feel like I'd get too... I wouldn't be, I'd sort of be too distracted to look at chat if it was a Hawthorne game, you know, sort of so. I feel like I wouldn't be great entertainment. <laughs> well, maybe great entertainment if we were losing, but, you know... Otherwise, yeah. So no stream, no stream tomorrow night, but potentially Sunday. I don't know yet though. Maybe some, maybe one of the Sunday games. But let's be honest, the two Sunday games aren't the most. I mean, who knows? The West Coast one, I could see West Coast winning that maybe, but they don't seem like the best games. Joel says go the Sun. Okay, Joel. <laughs> okay. Go the sun. I think he means suns, but yeah. I'd so I, I mean, on balance, I'd want them to win most weeks, but not this week. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. Anyone share your final thoughts? 
whatever, because I might wrap it up in a minute or two now. So, yeah. Guess no one was um, expecting that. I don't know, was anyone expecting that? I wasn't, personally, but, you know, could, could, I, I, I didn't tip them, but I'm not, you know, overly surprised. But obviously, if I didn't tip them, you know, if I did tip them, they wouldn't have won. I know that for a fact. Yeah. The game of footy. Crowd of 50,000, which is a pretty good crowd for um, for Marvel. It's good stuff. I think the dogs are washed. They're toasty. Very up and down, the dogs. I mean, really, they've only had one, like, actually... I mean, last week they were fine, could have gone either way, but, like, uh, really the wet, the um, the Gold Coast game is the only game that looked convincing, the one in Ballarat, but, you know, the other games they haven't looked too sensational. But then again, that's only the second one they've looked particularly bad, uh, other than the, uh, the Melbourne game. So, yeah, that was... Um, yeah, they brought great intensity throughout. I interesting, the interesting stuff. I mean, I'd say at the moment, I don't think either of these teams will make finals, probably. No way I'm back. My parents forgot about me. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you back, Speedy. I'm sure the stream, the chat's all going to be excited to see you back. But yeah, I might be wrapping this up in a minute or two anyway. So, yeah, no, good to see you back. But make sure you, make sure you don't get... Make sure you have enough time to get a good night's sleep. We in the media can react really knee jerk at times on the back of performance. Yeah, crazy game of footy, everyone. Crazy game. Four upsets from four. Yeah, that's football. That's football for you, everyone. So anyone who's still in here, share your final thoughts, opinions. Okay, bye, I felt you. Bye, Speedy. I'll let you sleep now. Good on you. Make a what if the dogs beat Essendon. I could do. I'll do. I'll, okay, at the end of the week, I'm going to do one for this round. So I'll see if you know. Potentially could do that, or could do a um. If there's another game that's particularly close, I'll do that instead. But I mean, for now, I'll probably yeah, I could do that. Oh dear. <sighs> anyway. Yeah, anyone share your final thoughts, whatever. But yeah, I'll wrap this up in a minute now. It's another intriguing game of football. What can I say? So yeah. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. I might just leave it there. Uh, yeah, it's been another another interesting night of footy. They always are the ones I've live streamed so far. So, thank you everyone for um for tuning in again this week, and I might wrap it up there. Give you a sec to maybe if you're still in chat to say something, any final things or whatever. But but yeah, another good game of football, and another um another upset for my streaming. Yeah, thank you everyone. I'll um I might just leave it there then. And I'll um see you all next time. Thank you and good night everyone. <laughs>